What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now recently there was a company by the name of Maxton that messaged me and said, Hey, we have a new browser coming out. Can you please go ahead and check it out? Now I have used Google Chrome all of my life. So I was like, you know, I don't think this is going to work out because if you're like me and you've been using the same browser your whole life, any other browser feels very weird. But then they're like, hey, this is a very unique browser. It has a lot of unique features. So I thought I would check it out. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the coolest browsers out there, which is the Maxon MX5 browser. Now with that being said, be sure to smash that like button down below. I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon as well. So let me know what phone you guys want me to see giveaway down below in the comments. And with that being said, let's get started. Now this is the Maxon MX5 browser. Now I've never heard of Maxon before. And when there's a company I don't know about, I make sure to look them up. And it turns out that Maxon has been making browsers for over 13 years, which is a very long time. And this is their newest browser. Now this MX5 browser does look like a normal browser up front. It looks like any other browser, but if you click on your profile picture, you access a hub. And this hub is basically your online desktop. It's a second desktop. It's not just your email. It is this thing called the info box. And the info box stores everything you want it to store on the web. Like I said, it's like your online desktop. It's like having a Chromebook inside of your normal you know, computer. Now, one of the coolest things about the MX5 browser is the use of info box. So say you're on a very random article, what you can do is click this little bumblebee over here to access the info box and you click on add to info box and there are five different things you can actually do so the first one is pretty standard you can bookmark it and you can just click on bookmark and of course we're going to keep the title and add it and it's added to your bookmark now what you can also do is click on info box and you can click on web content and it's going to give you all of the content in a very easy to read sort of list and this is the actual web content without all of the fluff now what we can also do is we can go back to the article, click on the info box, and we can take a snapshot, which is basically a free built-in screenshot, you know, um, element. So we just click on snapshot and we can screenshot anything on the page. And then we can also edit this screenshot within the actual browser. So I can add say an arrow, and then I can click the check mark to press on copy to clipboard and this is added. Now I can also add this image and just name it, you know, Harambe and add it to my info box and it's saved in my folders. Now say it's not pictures you wanna save and it's actual text, say you're doing, you know, a research report and there's a paragraph that's very important, you can go ahead, click the info box button, click on selection and maybe this paragraph is important. You can click on done. It's going to open up in a new page and then you can save this and it's going to save to your info box. And then finally, you can also just save the whole page and just save that to your info box. Now to access any of this, all you have to do is click on your profile picture. And as you can see, the whole page, the paragraph, the image, as well as the document has been saved to the actual desktop or the info box. Now there are also a lot of other different things you can do with the info box. And you can also add in new things. Like I said, it's your online desktop. So you can go to new and you can even create a new record. And it, there's a built-in, you know, word document editor or, or word editor, I guess. And you can, you know, type up whatever you want. So maybe you want to type in, you know, to-do list for the internet. And within the browser, you can type up everything you want and it will save to your online desktop, which is very, very cool. Now, the second really cool feature about MX5 that I haven't seen in a lot of browsers is Passkeeper. Now, of course, what you can do is you can have a browser autosave, you know, passwords and autofill it. But what Passkeeper does is it allows you to put all your passwords in one place online in the browser. So if you want to access it, you have to sign into your account and then sign in with a password. And it's very, very safe and it can save all of your passwords. To add a password, all you do is click add and you can, you know, for example, call it maybe your, um, maybe your Instagram account and you can call it Diovo and then you put in your password and you save it and it will save. Now the third feature is my favorite one and it is called UU Mail. And it's a concept that is known as shadow mail. So say you sign up for a lot of different websites and you don't want to give them your email. You can make a temporary email address just by clicking this plus button and I can call this, you know, temporary email for losers and click OK. And I'm going to have another email address made. 
Now, the way this works is whenever you sign up for any account, what you can do is you can put in this temporary email you have. So say I'm signing up for a newsletter and I don't trust it too much. I can put in this temporary email and all of the emails are sent to this temporary email and then forwarded to my main email. So I get to see all of the emails because they come through the shadow email, but the person I'm sending the email to and putting the shadow email in does not see my real email. So it is very cool and that is a feature that I really like. Now, apart from these three main tabs on your desktop, what you can do is you can also go ahead and access other features. They have something called night mode. It's just very convenient. I have a laptop and when I'm browsing at night, I just turn it on and it allows me to go ahead and dim things down just so it doesn't bother me. And I can also customize it and make it even darker if my eyes need that adjustment. Now, they also have a built-in screenshot. So if you don't wanna save it through Infobox, you can just take a normal snap of any sort of image you want. Once again, it's the same tool, except now you have the option to save it by clicking on the save button, and then you can save it to your actual computer. So yeah, this is actually really cool. Like, you know, when you think of a browser, you think of your bread and butter, the normal things a browser has, and you wouldn't expect anyone to think of putting these things inside of a browser, which is very cool. And I definitely do like this browser, but that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite browser is, and make sure to download the MX5 browser. The link will be down below in the description. But that's about it. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out. Thank you.